hello guys today we are having also another very very pretty silica which is actually one of the most unique silicas that i've seen in generation um, generation four right five. generation five yeah so uh the owner is here uh, my name is james mm -hmm. yes i'm from kenya i've owned this car for the last about 18 years so first of all what car is this i noticed it's so unique and so rare that uh, one it has the sunroof working i saw a very big engine up iv horsepower is kibao na <laughs> i've seen pia ndani kidogo vile chokora chokora for the journey today yeah. so what silica is this this is a silica uh, st185 uh, this is a generation 5 silica this is the actually the world rally champions for 91 92 93 it's actually the only silica that is a world rally champion and um, i've had it for the last 18 years and um, the specs are it has a, a twin entry tab, uh, turbo engine uh, we, we call it the 3s gte it's uh, quite a rare engine nowadays to come across and um, it churns out about 260 horses but i have tried as much as possible i like keeping my car stock yeah. now uh, let me ask uh, those horses are quite powerful for the size of the car uh, and i'm sure it does great pulls and kicks now let me ask uh, in terms of consumption what is your gas mileage or what is your consumption for this car okay town driving obviously you expect a big engine like this to be a little bit higher on the consumption side so uh, in, when i'm in town i get about maybe 8 to 12 a highway i get about 12 to 14 kilometers per liter that's that's quite economical for the size of the engine because I, i've seen smaller cars do close to the same number uh, yeah but it depends on how heavy your foot is yeah, yeah. Uh, if if i wanted to do five kilometers per liter it will <laughs> because it, it can yeah it can but i'm used to it i know how to rev it my foot is not too heavy so that's why i usually get some good gas mileage and then it is not my everyday car it's usually my weekend car nice uh, now, uh, when you're talking about not not your daily uh, but your weekend car let me cut you short and uh, let's take it to the back now okay. how did you come across this car how did you buy it uh, what's the story what's the story behind this car when i was a little boy and we are watching the safari rally as a little boy we always use i used to see this car and i used to think this is a car i want hindi or gari yangu no when you're a little boy you see a nice car you say gari yangu mm. this was my gari yangu gari yangu then uh i had been looking for this car for quite some time but sometime in uh, 2000 i think it was 2000 and actually 1999 uh, just after i finished high school I saw this car with a Mzungu lady and I actually followed her. I asked for her contact. I told her if she ever wanted to sell the car, I would like to have it. Uh, she was from the UK. She had brought it in uh, from the UK. And uh, about three or four years later, I think, that was sometime in 2003, 2004, she actually called me and told me she was going back to the UK. But she was, had not decided whether she wanted to sell the car or take it back with her because she loved this car. But because I used to call her like every other month, I'm asking her, I'm still waiting for the car, I'm still waiting for Gariangu. So finally she called me and told me, made, I made her an offer and that is how I got this car. Oh nice. So, uh, so you've had this car, let me say close to 20 years, right? Yes. And uh, how has it been? When, when were the highest moments and the lowest moments for the car? I, I don't think I have had uh, lowest moments. Uh, I have loved this car. I have always loved this car. And my wife loved this car because I met her in this car. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting. So uh, I would say I have, just like any other car, uh, the trick about any car is maintenance. Uh, it is sometimes you can get problems getting spare parts, but if you love your car, you will import them. Uh, and 
sometimes because you are in this Nairobi, sometimes you are hit like they have a small dent on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pained me quite a lot. And because of that small dent, now I have to respray the whole car. So uh, I guess I have not really had any low moments, but I have had a lot of fun with the car. Now let me ask, uh, you've talked about uh, repainting the car. Is this the first paint or the second paint uh, for this car? The last time I did the respray on this car was sometime in 2010, so 13 years ago. Okay. Uh, and uh, so, and it has never been even been done a touch up or anything since uh, 2010. So, uh, since I got it now, this would be probably the second time I will be respraying it. No, nice. Uh, now I saw you've stripped the car uh, for today's uh, event. Uh, would you kindly share more light uh, about that? No, no. I had stripped the car myself because I'm preparing it for the respray, and uh, I don't know. I do not trust. Uh, other people to strip it for me because I know this car inside out so I want to strip it, uh, strip it myself because I know it inside out so that I don't break anything because I know if I take it to whichever garage whether they are very professional people or not uh, because they don't know this car and it's an old car they will most likely break something and if they break something that is an added cost for me because I have to start importing that particular component that's why I like doing it uh, some of these things myself Plus it's a hobby, it's my toy car. So I enjoy doing these things and it keeps me active, active mm -hmm. and occupied and it's a nice hobby. Ah, so ask about the year, what is the year of manufacture for this vehicle? This is a 1990 car. Oh, okay, now this is a 1990 car, that's uh, 30, that is 33. 33 years. <laughs> this car is 33 years old, but I'm, I'm telling you this car is so pretty. Uh, for the interior, I'm sure you'll see some cutaways that are not uh, what you expected interior-wise. But this car has a dent which will be sorted and uh, it also uh, has to be prepared for paintwork as the owner said. Sometimes kukuwa na easy gari classic, inakuwa ga hassle. It's not that easy as you think. You can't just throw these away to any garage and you're sure that it will come out the way you want to. So it's good to be hands-on and uh, I'm sure you'll check out the engine. The car is super super duper good. And uh, I'm humbled to also host it. And thank you very much for gracing our channel. Leo. Thank you. Thank you for the interview. I hope you'll give us the time. Aki, I, I request, eh? when you're done, please let me do the cutaways so that we can have the interior look yes. uh, the before today and then after. Yes. Because we've not seen it uh, no. apart from. Yes, yeah, actually, why it has not been resprayed yet was mm. because the garage that did it in 2010, mm -hmm. they did a very good job. Eh? Yeah. You can still see the way it is. Sure, sure. They did it in 2010 and unfortunately during the COVID times, these hard times, uh, COVID took out a lot of businesses mm. including that particular garage and I've been looking for a garage for it to be done uh, and even at these other mainstream garages like these uh, manufacturers, still I don't think they would do it to the standard which I want. And that has been actually been what I've been waiting for, what I've been looking for. But yeah, because even the first time it was resprayed, it cost for just the respray alone and maybe the small minor dents, it cost me about 200,000 in, 20, in 2010. In today's <laughs> money, in today's money, I think 2010 the dollar what? used to be about 70, 70 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so in today's money, that is like half a million. What? So, uh yeah. yeah it's usually costly to do some of these things but you do it once and you forget about it and if it's something you love this car by the way is not for sale at any price so don't even call so <laughs> <laughs> this is my to it's family part of my family yes it's like the fourth child in the family so it's not for sale that's why we take good care of it and the cost is usually not a, a, problem, a, a problem, an issue. Yes. Right, so, so, Santi Sana, thank you All very right, much for you. gracing us. Eh? All right. Barikiwa.